Well, hello, good morning. Afternoon, actually. It's one o'clock. We're driving today. We are. But I wanted to show you about darning socks. Now, you know that I make socks, right? Too bad that thing is all hanging there, making it look messy. Oh, well. Anyway, so I make socks, knee socks, right? Here is a pair of knee socks. And I have not got the right color of yarn here, but I really don't care because people don't generally get to see the bottom of my feet, so I'll just be aware of it. So, first let me show you um, a sock that, you know, where this, um, so here is a heel, which is worn out, right? Okay, so now I'm going to show you, after I mend it, it will look like this. Now let me, I'm going to turn this around and explain this to you. Can you close the window please? <coughs> Can you close the window please? <coughs> okay. Hello, Mr. Omar King. Okay, so here's our sock, which I have just darned. Now, when you do it, you start at one sock where there is some um, good, good knitting. You go up there, and then you turn around and you come back. At and now you may have only a little bit of good knitting and maybe you don't have much and then you go around again and come back and you keep going up into the good knitting and you keep going and you try and go in every you could go in every single line you follow the stitching up one line and come back down the next now you could hear they're right beside each other you see and sometimes you have room for that, sometimes you don't. Anyways, you just keep going back up and down, and then you, you find now, this is where your hole starts, right, is up here. So you go up to this point, and then you weave under and over, under and over. Now, I'm using a double thread, and so when I go over and under, I'm going over and under two. I've done it where you go over and under each one, but I like this way better. So you come out to here and to where there's good, excuse me, uh, yes I did make these socks. Um, so you come over to the good knitting again and then you go back and this time if you went over before you go under and if you went over you go under and you go, so you go over and under all the way across into the good knitting and then come back on the line right below. Making sure that you don't leave too much space here, otherwise you'll get gaps. See, like here's a bit of a gap right there. And so you, and then you just go back and get the good knitting, go back again, get the good knitting. And when you finish it, you just do an extra row and then cut off your yarn. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to do this. So here, as you can see, the whole heel is missing, right? So this is my edge, the edge of the hole. So what I've done, this is not a very good row. That knitting is not stable. So I move over and I take one row into the good stable knitting. So I started down here and I just followed the line right up over where the heel goes. And now I'll I'll go up I'll go up to probably about here. But you don't have to. You can just go up as far as you want. But um, and then I'll so I'll I'll I make sure that I've got about an inch or half an inch of good knitting in my 
Now another thing to do to make sure of is when you're using this you don't want these to be tang tangled up. You don't want them to twist because if they twist and you are weaving on them I'll see there's some here that are twisted. It's not as important when you're lifting two going over and under two with but if you're doing doing one it's it's easy then when the, there's a twist somewhere in there it's easy to, to you know it, it it messes up the weave because you have it now instead of going you have it's crop anyway okay so let me see if I can put this camera so you can see what's happening I don't know how it's gonna work okay so you have to be so close. I wonder if I can... I'm an icon. Sure, sure. Alright, maybe I can set you there. Wedge you in. Okay, and now, here we go. So this is the finished one. And since it's in green on red, you can see it easily. It's also got new heel, so here we go. We've come up one, one side there. So we're going to continue going up a little further. Okay, so I'm going up here where I'm going to be even with the end of the hole. Now, when you pull it in, if it's twisted, you can pull those and just pull them until the one in, until they're on the right sides. Okay. These would be really cool Christmas socks with red and green. I know I thought of that when I was doing it. So this is this is woven very tightly here. So I'm just going to go in the center of the next stitch. I'm not just see if I were in this row right beside right beside it there. That's sort of between the rows. Okay, so I'm gonna. S you can do that, or you can go in between. But if it's if it's really tight knitting already, you might find it easier or better to um, to go into the next real stitch and just instead of the in between part that's holding the one to the next. And then it goes to the heel here. You see. But, but, there again, pass the heel and go down. I got so I, I just throw socks out now that are bad, but I made these. Okay, now see how it's twisted here? Anyway, you can pull one and then the other to get them to work best. And you, you've got to be mindful. You don't want to bump under your under your foot because you won't like them. Okay, and then you just to go to the next row. You see, now this is where I started right there. I just cut, I just cut the end right off or pulled it right through. So you move over to the next full row. And we go again here, over, under, over, under, over, under. So, so my needle. Yeah, it would be very uncomfortable. It's nice of you to join us, Joe and Mr. Omar. those stitches there. And then you 
just pull it just so it's going to end up covering the hole, right? And then you go back down and do it again. Make sure you're not twisted again. This works really well with big fat socks. I mean with socks that have big fat yarn, especially when the yarn is the same size. If you've got regular socks, you know, I don't know, you might just as well throw them away sometimes unless they're really expensive. But um, these I don't want to throw out, right? Because I made them and they took hours. And you can't really replace them. I mean, they're knee socks. They're great. You can't buy them like this. So see how it looks now? So the pieces are lining up. Sometimes there's things going on in the inside. You might want to get rid of that. Let's just say. Well, I just awoken from my sleep and then I picked up my cell phone to check on my feet and then notice you're on. Well, now wasn't that serendipitous? Yes, it'll work on a sweater. Um, it depends, you know, it'll, the thing is, is that when you've got a hole, that means that there are loops that are just end and they're not hooked on to anything. Those are going to unravel. As soon as anything gets pulled, those loops will, you'll get a run, like in a stocking. And so you've got to catch that loop and catch the one on the other side. And, and if it's wearing, on a sweater, it's probably not going to wear. So you don't have to go very far into the edge. Just enough to hold it, you know, it's not like a sock that you're putting all that pressure on all the time. There we go. I hope you can hear. We're in the car driving on the big highway. a little while to do this and I've been putting it off for a very long time but now I have a basket and I did have a whole bunch of different colors of yarns. I've been mending pink and green and blue and yellow. Diving onto the floor you were. I need to get something that will hold the camera something that will hold it so I can see what it's filming. I think this has always been a bit of my problem. Now you see how this one is twisted? So if you were going to weave back and forth through each one instead of through the two, this would be a problem because you get to here and you don't know which one to, which goes over and which goes over. So, So here we'll twist it a little bit. <coughs> you don't really want to see this, eh? Is that what you're saying? I don't have grandparents, so I watch you. I tell my friends, oh yeah, this is my grandma Nancy. Ah, uh, that's nice, Joe. I'll be your grandma. They have car mounts if you look online. Okay. Stick you up there this time. Okay. Now we're we're running out of our yarn, so just take it as far as it goes and then cut it. You might want to put it a little further into the good stuff before you cut it, just so it doesn't become a broken one in the middle of your work. I found. Here were my mom's. So that's one side. And then we'll keep going and we'll do the other side and then we'll do go back and forth. And in the meantime, how's life? Um, tiny scissors. I know, aren't they little? I've seen them before. I think they're embroidery scissors. I have my tatting here so I have my little scissors with me. My mother
grandmother used to mend clothes. She loved mending. Oh, she would just love to sit there and sew. She'd do it forever. She would shorten things. Oh, what did you just say? Let me see, since we're live. Um, Tiny says, I have to go to work, but I'll watch later. Good luck on the socks, Grandma Nancy. Goodbye, Joe. Say hi to all your friends. You have big blue scissors up on the bookshelf. You know, when I moved out of my parents' home, and I went, I was living in Phoenix, and a pair of scissors is the very first item that I bought for myself. And I thought at the time that that was the very first item I had ever, a household item that I had ever had to buy with my own money. I was one of those um, what's the word? I don't know what the word is. Oh well. A prosperous white person. What is the word? If you find that you've caught the other side, you might be able to pull your yarn back. Just pull the yarn and get the needle to go right back through the same one. If not, just cut your yarn and start again. It's kind of therapeutic doing this. And it feels so good when I see my socks now ready to wear. It was, it was getting so of socks. But don't forget to thumbs up. Like and subscribe, they say. If you want to be notified when there's videos, you see, then you would subscribe and you would push that notification bell. But, you know, it's okay if you don't. I don't know. upstairs and watch the family upstairs open their gifts. That was really fun. I totally enjoyed that. And my gift to everybody was tons of cookies. Cookies, cookies, cookies start with C. Thank you for driving, Mama. So tomorrow, Friday, we were going to go to the temple, but it's going to have freezing rain after, or rain after freezing rain tomorrow morning, and that'll slow us down a lot. So we're going to go today, Thursday, and then we'll just stay over the extra night, and we'll be there Thursday and Friday. Once I get this side done, you see, oh wait. Now, if you find it's all tangled up there, you can just hold it here and pull that whole um, tangle thing right through and then open it back up again and you should have gotten rid of it, but I didn't get rid of it. Or you can just twist it backwards and they'll slide over each other and Have a Google Home at your house or an app? Um, there's three of them. I don't know who they are. Or two of them. Addy or Apti or a Dookie, Alexa. Alexa. Sorry. You can tell that I'm not as young as I used to be. Messing with my mind. 
don't have those things. I don't even know where to get them. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Okay, we got to go back here. Big blue scissors on the bookshelf. Sapphire is my birth color. I remember when that was... I was born in September. Is that when you were born? Is that the same color? Um, you good. I'm glad you had a great Christmas. You got to cradle baby Jesus? Don't have those things. I don't even know where to get them. Oh, wait. Something's missing. Yeah, September. Oh, that was quick. You just answered me right away. <coughs> I'm gonna see where we are. We're driving on the on the 401. This is the flat area near the lake. So Lake Ontario is over that away. They don't have much snow here, that's for sure. Not even covering the grass. Okay, I'm going to keep mending this. Oh, now it's just muted. I think it's supposed to be muted. I don't know how the volume works with videos. Does it matter what I do with my volume? Okay, so now here we have it. The whole, the whole side is, the whole view. of the of the hole right try and be careful not to make those cross okay and so now I open it up and look at it and then I start by I'll go in this case under So this is where I've gone, over and under, and into that stuff at the end. And I'll pull it through. Try and make sure that one is right down there at the bottom. There, like that. And then I go back. Turn it around. I'll do it, and then I'll show it to you. So now, I can get closer to this other one I couldn't get closer to because it was not worn down as far here. Over, under, over, under. Side one and cross over the outside one on here. 
if there is one, so that you um, keep it tight. And you'll, when you get to here, you see, it's going to be wider and then this part gets narrower, so you will be going less. So anyway, there you have it. That's how we'll make our thing. I'll keep doing it. I'll read what you just said. Who said something? Somebody spoke. Abe Dobbin, Abe Dobbin, Don, hi Don, and Michael Johnston, hi Nancy, I love the cookies you made, they look so yummy in that shortbread, yeah, I never got to eat any of those cookies, but I made cookies for myself, that cements the deal, cements the deal, are we talking about the socks, <coughs> cement socks, yeah, those are good cookies. If you just find a flour that's not wheat, then you can just do what you would do. Just substitute it as, as you would substitute it in a recipe, I guess. And if it's, a if it's a little too dry, then just add a little moisture. How did the cookies you made for yourself turn out? Quite a selection of things you put in it. I know, wasn't that crazy? They are so good. I was gonna bring them along today, but instead I brought the dough I hadn't cooked. So. They have a microwave at the temple, so when I have lunch, I'll just put some of it in the microwave and I'll make it into a cookie. That'll probably be the best way to do it, because things in the microwave don't dry out the same as they do in the oven. But they weren't too dry. I took them out before they were quite uh, all the way done, so they were moist like short, like um, fruit cake. It's a good idea. I was really glad it worked. I wonder how much... How much data it's going to take to upload this. Hey, eight people and two thumbs up. Hi. I'm going to make homemade tomato soup later today. Hmm. Yeah, that would be nice. I don't usually make tomato soup. I don't usually use too many tomatoes. Hey, there's a river in there. Now you won't get to know. You drove right over a river. I like how you bake. You don't go by a recipe, you just go with the flow and whoops, and put it all together as you go along. I think that's a fun way of baking. Yeah, I try to follow recipes. I think I tried, I followed recipes when I was a teenager. I really followed them carefully, but then I, um, I got so I didn't need the recipe anymore. I, I kind of figured out how it works, how much, how much dry to how much wet. And that some, the, whatever the wet is, it has to hold things together. You have to have an emulsifier, which will blend the, like if you have a cake or something and you've got water and oil or water and butter, they don't mix, right? So you have to have an egg to emulsify it. And then measuring food into your hand is so good because then your eye learns what the right amount is because you, it's really hard to always find the right size thing. Oh, hello. Yes, it is the first time you've caught the live stream, isn't it, Dawn? I don't know what's so good about a live stream, except that you get to talk and I get to see what you're saying. And I find out who's watching my videos. Because, you know, all I see is a number. I don't know who's watching. Sometimes you get a comment from somebody, and so then you know that person watched it, but you don't know who all the other people are. But some people tell me that they have they watch all of my videos. They've always watched all of my videos for nine years, or is it 11 years? I think it's 11 years now. 97? A long time ago. Anyway, so those would be some of those numbers. If I had a list of all the people that said that they watched all my videos, then I could look at that list and look at the number and I could say, oh, these people watched my videos. But usually, they say on those analytics thing, I think what is good about live stream is that you can react and it's different than just watching a recorded video, but that, that is fun too. Abe Daban. Abe Daban. Abe. Abe Daban. Hmm. Abe Daban. Abe Daban. Is that, is that your last name or does that mean, is that a significant name? Is it your
your name. It's amazing, when I started traveling and I found out that people's names in other countries were totally different words that I'd never heard of. <laughs> Very close, eh? Thanks. <clears throat> like, um, Ina, I have a Dutch husband. And, um, your chair, your, oh, your grandmother in the Cherokees make. They have a museum in northeast Georgia. Or I guess it's right across the mountain or over the, you know, it's very close there somewhere. Blossom like a rose, Miss Blossom. It's a lovely place. She reminds me of you. Oh well, I should go and have a look. I hate to admit that I really don't watch YouTube very much, except for the news. I do watch the news. I started watching NBC Nightly News because they they don't seem to be leaning in either direction. They just seem to be just the facts, please, ma'am no adjectives that show their feelings. I think the news is like nice when it's like that. Then you can make up your own mind. You think about it your own mind. So just go slowly. Just be patient with yourself and don't get discouraged. Success is made up of a series of failures. And true success like so far. 
We just have that much left to go. Be careful not to get the other side. So you've got to keep checking it. said no, so they named me Dawn. The name Abaddon means the same as Dawn. Abaddon was my dad's mother's name. Well, that's interesting. Oops. I'm sorry, that wasn't nice of me to put you on the floor like that. So you get the idea how to do this, eh? And you just cut it off at the end. Okay, I'm going to stop. Goodbye. I'm a little worried about how much data this is going to take to upload a video out here in the boonies. Don't want to use up all my data too early. Bye. So you can do this at home. If you have enough data. Results. <laughs> <laughs> Results may differ. And you saw it here last. Bye. I still have a poncho that my mom crocheted for me when I was little. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. My mother's crocheted thing or knitted things for me too. Yeah, I crocheted. It's nice to have those things. Okay, see you later. Bye. Thanks for coming. Let me turn it off again. There it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs>